So in the first part of this tutorial we open GarageBand and I created a short sound clip advertising a company who services cars and if I just press on the project here is my sound clip and I can hit play and listen to what I recorded. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car you know the place to come. That's so what I recorded last time with a little extra on at the end that I didn't listen to just there. Now what I'd like to do next is to add some music playing in the background. And GarageBand has got an incredible range of sound loops that can be used. Now if I press this icon here in the top right hand corner, it looks like a looping roller coaster. You can see there's absolutely loads of sound loops that can be that can be played. If I just go right to the top of of my um, iPad here, um, we can do a keyword search, or we can f we can do a s refine our search based on the type of musical instrument. So I could look for any sound clips that have shakers in there, for instance, or I could look for strings. there. I can also choose to, to look for music based on a particular genre or I can look for a description and I'm sure the pupils in your class will have an awful lot of fun just trying out different types of music and, and deciding what they'd actually like to go in their sound clip. Now I, I know the particular clip that I'm looking for is called position. So I've just done a keyword search there. Now I can listen to it just by pressing or if I'd actually like to use it in my clip I hold down my finger for a moment or two and I can drag it in where I'd like it to go. There we are. So now if I hit play Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car you know the place to that's okay, but the problem is my voice is fairly quiet compared to the sound of the music. So I'm going to slide from the left to the right on the left hand side and from here I can tweak the volume. So I'm just going to, to quieten the volume of the synth there and I can even increase the volume of my voice. So let's rewind and press play. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you still haven't got it quite right, I'm just going to make the synth slightly louder. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car, you know the place to come. The best place in town. Need a car serviced? Get here quickly. Vroom. There you go. Now I've just got the one sound loop in there at the moment. And it, it lasts um, for four bars and my piece of music, sorry, my sound recording is eight bars in total. So you don't have to, I'm just stretching that in, so I'm just going to make it last as long as I want it to last. And what I could actually try then is put another sound loop in. Maybe I'd actually like to have a bit of a change midway through this particular radio. I'd just reset the keywords there so I get all the instruments back. I quite like the piece of music I listened to just a moment or two ago. So let's just drag that one in. I can put it on the same track there if, if I like. And then let's just have a look back and see how it listens when I've got that change. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car, you know the place to come. The best place in town. Need a car serviced? Get here quickly. Vroom. If you need to delete a sound loop that you've inserted. Press the bit of loop that you'd like to delete just the once, press it again and then you get a whole range of options and I'm going to choose delete and it's taken that sound loop out. So I could of course just drag that one over now and make this one last for the entirety instead which gives my clip um, a very different feel. And I've just undone all those changes undone all those changes using the undo button. In the next tutorial, 
I'll be showing you how to add your own instruments to your GarageBand radio advertisements.